Okay, so we're done with inserting luminar arrangement and the next lecture is about road lighting refurbishment. But with, before we go to this next topic, I would like to add one more information in this inserting luminaire arrangement. Remember the lecture that I gave you before? This is all about this is all about the pole arrangement. So I will tell you how you will do it in Dialux Evo. This pole or luminaire arrangement like this uh, one side and then the staggered positioning and then two sides and then in the median with one pole and also in a catenary uh, mounting position. Okay, so how to do that? Let's go for the A first. So this one is the example of the first arrangement, which is one side. And if we go to the next one, which is the staggered position, we just need to click on the luminaire and then press this two-sided arrangement offset. And then when you do that, now you can see that it's now uh, two sides, but in an offset arrangement. And you can adjust the distance of these poles, this one is 18, let's make it 26 for example, and there you go. Alright, so the next one is uh, uh, letter C which is two-sided and that is very easy. All you need to do is click this two-sided arrangement and there you go. Now you have two-sided arrangements. And then if you want to do this uh, median which we did on the previous design, and this one, yeah, on this one, uh, yes, we can see that it's on the median. Those poles are in the median. So this is very easy. All you need to do is click on this, um, of course, the median arrangement. And then if you want to try this catenary, then it's not really difficult because all you need to do is to remove the pole here remove this show pole geomet geometry and then it's gone and this one is not applicable because my luminaire is not for catenary so if you want to go uh, select the catenary go and check let's go say for example in thorn lighting so i'll go the road lighting selections here and you can see here this victoria is a catenary luminaire catenary mounting for road lighting so let's go and click one. So I'll just select this one, press the dialog and then save OK. And then I will click here at the bottom. And now this will go to my dialog Evo. And now this catenary from Thorn is now available. And I will replace this with this um, uh, catenary luminaire. I'll just drag and drop. And now it's there, but it's uh, it goes directly on the side. So I'll just remove this one. And then I will place these luminaires in the middle. And then I will remove the pole geometry. And now I have my um, catenary. And let's see how it looks if we open this uh, photometric. Okay, so you can see the arrangement of the photometric is wrong. If you go to the plan view, it's aiming only on one side. It should be... Uh, on the vertical view so all you need to do is rotate the luminaire and how to do that is just click this one the pole rotation into 90 degrees and there you go now it's aiming towards the center and facing one side okay you can also use this one in an urban area or a city area and say for example let's use this one in this two uh, two lane road and i will just Click that one, let's say remove this one, and then select that uh, catenary fitting that we just used a while ago. Click it, and then just drag and drop. And then since we, ha we don't have median here, you cannot select the median there because there is no median. So what you need to do is just uh, extend the overhang, say this is 3 meters, yeah, now it's there, 3 meters, or maybe 3.5. Yeah, so it will be in the center. And then just remove the pole geometry. There you go. And of course, don't forget, rotate the fitting because the orientation is wrong. Okay, let's go to the plan view. And then let's make this one as 90 degrees. Okay, there you go. Now it's a catenary. And what is this catenary that, that we are talking about? So let's go and check the example of a catenary arrangement. 
Yeah, so you can see that these are uh, mounted on the string or rod in the middle of the road. And the best example is this one. Okay, the road is not showing properly. You can use this one. Yeah, that is too much actually. Let's go for the simplest one. Yes, here. In this urban area, they use the catenary arrangement because there is no... Yeah, there is available pole here, but uh, they usually place those rods or strings on the buildings so that the, uh, the pathwalks or roadways are really, really open for public. Okay, another example here is this one. Yeah, so this is the catenary arrangement. Okay, so that's it. That is the pole arrangement and uh, you can try this one. Practice this one as actually very easy, so just go and try it. Okay, so let's go now to the real topic, which is the uh, lecture 18, the road lighting refurbishment. So what is this road lighting refurbishment? If you want to know more about this lighting design course in Udemy, visit my courses at www.udemy.com and you will find this road lighting design techniques here okay and if you want to know more tips and tricks go and visit my website www.enrofolightingdesign.com or or check my books and ebooks hard copy and soft copy at www.amazon.com and don't forget to subscribe okay so see you again on the next video